Hey guys, welcome back to Adam Wolf. And um, if you remember in the last episode, we finished investigating uh, Whitman's estate here where he was murdered. Um, the only thing that I haven't done yet is to figure out what goes into here, but um, I, I don't think that I have that piece, so I'm gonna head on over back to the villa and try to get into that um, statue that, that Whitman hid. Uh, in Sahid's, uh, I don't know, some statue he, he gave to Sahid, I guess he hit it at. So let's go ahead and uh, head on over there to the. Oh, that's where we are. Oh, okay. The, there's a. Uh, the inside and the outside are like different places on the map. <laughs> um, so I, I guess we want to go into the lobby probably for the. Uh, Yeah, this is probably what we want, and of course that looks exactly like this wishbone looking dagger. Oh, click on it and then put it down. Alright. Touch the dagger and hear our story. Okay. The dagger can prolong life. But it is guarded by Arahad, a fiery ghost. I thought he was a freak, but okay, Arahad. Um, prolong life, not indefinitely, maybe. Um, all right, let's see. Wow, this is a a lot of designs here. I need to put something in the broken piece, I guess. So uh, no. Let's see. I'm looking for something probably that shape. It's pretty much triangle. Like, at least I assume that's what I'm looking for. Clicking does not do anything, so let's see. Oh yeah, and while um, while I was kind of goofing around a little bit on on this, uh, I I was looking at that guide that I found in the in the other section that was starts at the beginning, and I think this goes all the way to the end. So if you get stuck, you can kind of refer to it. Um, but I didn't want to, you know, get a sneak peek of stuff to come, so... I, I like just sitting here and going, what do I do? That's kind of my thing. Um, besides, they have this hint. Uh, In order to possess and keep that power, a pact had to be made with Arahad. Okay, so that is the shape of the thing at uh, Whitman's estate, not trying to fill in the middle here. Great, let's see. Um, a pact had to be made with Arahad. Okay. This is not like a click to click through the dialogue thing either. It's a. Uh, am I looking for the fire demon type of uh, shape or what? Pact. Every two years, the dagger would switch Excuse custody me. between our five families in a strict order. Every two years, they rotate who has it. All right. Good to know. Maybe. So Whitman, it was his two years, obviously. Um, rotating, changing who has it. No. Uh... What kind of indicates this guy's giving you something? No, uh, some kind of like indication of uh, this uh, dagger that's being swapped between families. Uh, family. The first to hold the dagger shall be the Al Qadir family. Uh, so he'd had it first. All right. Um, I know it's like dagger is in capital letters, so maybe that's what I'm supposed to look for. This isn't a dagger, it's an axe. It's a hatchet. It's a sword. I don't The dagger looks kind of funky for a dagger anyway, but uh, am I looking for something from the al -Qadir family? What was... I don't know, I think I'm just going to try clicking on these because there's no repercussion for getting it wrong. Why not, right? Uh, al Qadir could be anything. Money. Uh, 
Well, he does own a museum, but... al uh, are descendants uh, of an ancient Arabic bloodline, wealthy beyond imagination. Bloodline. There's a line, and it's probably blood. No. Blood. Next in line to guard the dagger will be the crumbs. Dagger? The crumbs are known as cunning bankers who amassed their fortune in 18th century Europe. Okay, yeah, there, there is, it is the, uh, the capital letters that let you know what to look for. The dagger then moves into the hands of a thing. Dagger is used a lot, though, so it's kind of... Things whose ancestors advised the Chinese emperors themselves. They do? Wow. Okay, things advised the Chinese emperors. This is some kind of like helmet that summarizes... Um, Emperor, or like, wear a crown, no? <sighs> Chinese, gosh. Is... Ever moving, the dagger will find custody with the Delacroix family. The incredible wealth of the Delacroix family grew from their cotton plantations to the south. You know, I probably should have been paying better attention to which name goes along with which symbol on the dagger. Uh, like Delacroix is at the axe here and Fang was at the butterfly, but uh, if that comes up later, I'm gonna... I don't know, I'll probably just come back and watch this episode to remember. Cotton. Huh? Um, cotton is made from plants, isn't it? No? Grown on plants? I don't know. It's in my clothes, that's all I know. The dagger's journey ends in the hands of the Whitman family. All right. Whitman's, a line of scholars and professors forever craving knowledge. Whitman's the shark. And none of the family shall hurt the other, lest they all burn for breaking the pact. Okay, so that's only if one family hurts the other, but... I really don't think that's the case. I mentioned it earlier, but um, that didn't feel like Saeed that actually did it. I think it's somebody that was uh, trying to frame Saeed and make it look like he was the one by dressing up like him. And that means it's someone that knows that whenever I use my watch, I can only see the, uh, the silhouettes of the people and not details. And so it's someone who knows how the watch works. Um, at least that's kind of what I think is going on. But I could be wrong. So I'm looking for a burn. Where's that fire out there? As long as this pact is upheld, the cycle shall repeat forever and again, granting life eternal. All right. Now, so, I mean, there's a certain number of people, I guess, uh, five different families. I wonder what would happen if, if uh, you know, in the beginning, what if only a few people had found the dagger? Does it need this many? Forever? What, what indicates forever to you guys? What do you think? Infinity, probably, huh? The family sigils. Okay, so these are what were important, not the, not the, necessarily like the, this was Whitman. The whole thing? Alright. Interesting. Another panel. Let's see. Oh, a code. I don't believe I have a code, but I can check. All the important, like, times or codes are kind of stored in photos on your phone. Like, here's the, the one from security, but I don't think I've found, found any code yet for, um, for this guy. Let's see. Maybe it's just a card thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's check this thing out then. Uh, what did that text say? Oh, it was just probably uh, fading out from the thing before that I'd say. Give it to me. Whitman Sigil. Alright. Oh, here we go. Alright. Fire Demon figurine. Wow. Some of these things look kind of neat. I wish I could uh, look at it more closely. Yeah. But 
It is what it is. Okay, so I, I can't evaluate any of these further, so I guess there's no code on, on these items. Um, I'll just keep the card in there and leave this door open, apparently, and head on back to Whitman's estate now that I have the piece for that one uh, wall mantle. What's this? Oh, that there's looks... secrecy and there's paranoia. I say Whitman had a severe case of the latter. Huh. It looks like a map of some type. What is this? Oh, the fire. Huh. Uh, something on a timer, apparently. But... This is gonna. Uh, very strange. Symbol of sand near the small pedestal. Symbol of fire near this thingy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, uh, can I? It won't budge. Will any of these budge? No, it's like I have to insert quarters to start the game or something. Uh, what is this? Alright, um, this does have like a little, uh, uh, you know, line on the bottom, indicating like maybe, yeah, it goes inside somewhere. But there's a symbol of sand, uh, and I have no such sand demon guy. But maybe I can move these now? No? I probably have to have them both before I can start moving anything. And, uh, I'm not exactly sure how, what I would be doing with these pieces, except to maybe try to get, uh, fire and sand over here. Maybe these are, like, the ghosts in Pac-Man and they just start trying to eat you? I don't know. We'll see how that goes, though, once we find the... <laughs> the fire demons right there, the fire demon statue. Um, once we find the sand demon statue, then we can see how that goes. Um, okay, so that whole thing did not really help me out very much, then. Um, let's see, what do I got going on here? Yeah, some of his notes are hidden in Saeed's vault in their villa, so I, uh, that's really what I wanted to find, was the, the notes from that. He had like a lizard statue in his, uh, 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 it was in his safe, that's where it was, wasn't it? Anyway, there was some kind of indication that it was a lizard statue thing that I need to uh, click on. Let's see if there's any kind of thing out here. You're living the good life. Oh, the good eternal life. Same thing. Alright, so yeah, nothing to do outside. And uh, can I go inside? Oh, that's the entrance. I want to go further into that room. Uh, they just threw me out. Oh, okay, so, um, let's see, I'm gonna have to do a little thinking. I'll, uh, take a break and come back to this. Hmm, alright, so, let's see, we need to get into this room, but there's a code which I've been assuming is four digits. And Whitman here mentioned that Saeed had it on the code written on the back of his bust, which uh, if you're in America like I am, bust kind of means like you're talking about a woman's chest, you know, size and stuff. That's not the case here. I don't think Saeed has uh, moves that I know of. He doesn't look like he would. So we're going to try something different. He also mentioned that uh, Saeed was not very bright in his opinion anyway. And I'm thinking maybe that means that he used the same code in the security that he used here. So it was uh, 2814. So let's give that a shot. No idea. Many fingers left their marks here. They did. Ah, okay. So we need to fingerprint this and see which buttons were pushed. 
Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Ah, these three numbers are the ones most used. Alright, so it's some combination of those three. I'll probably get it right on the last try. Somewhere. The dagger is here. Better watch my step. Ah, uh, the real dagger. Oh, damn, they just leave it right there. Okay, so Whitman knew how to destroy it, but we don't. We're supposed to find Whitman's notes in a, a statue. Um, okay, let's look around. Uh, no, I do not want to touch that thing. Do I not have a choice? Ah, uh, I guess not. Move forward. Uh, why would I want to take it? Okay, hold on. I, I do not want to do that. That does not sound like a good idea. Um, it's this beautifully, richly decorated house. Reeks of snobbery. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back here even if I leave, so I guess I have no choice. Whew. For a moment there, I thought the fire demon would bust out again. Or I guess he can only come out at midnight. Um, oh, there's a button on the back of his neck. So did that do anything? Let's see. All these guys... Oh, there's some kind of order, huh? I'm gonna keep going around, assuming they rotate the dagger this way. But there's one of the guys, and I think it's the one that I just turned on, that, uh... Oh wait, no, it's him. This guy. They just never talk about him. They don't mention him in the in the rotation. Uh, he wasn't on... He was on the, the wall, but he, he just... It's like, how is he a part of this? He wasn't there at the meeting whenever I first... Uh, to the people, as far as I remember. Oh, there, there, that's what he meant by the back of the bust, okay. I mean, I thought it was that thing on his head, I, I really didn't think it was his chest. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that before, but let's see, uh, let's, let's see this, because, yeah, we're going to need that. Oh, dude, even her statue face looks evil. Better hurry up. Looks like that thing nap time's over. Alright, that ladder is new. It wasn't there before. And the remote, let's see what I can do. Uh, just gonna randomly push buttons on here? Oh, okay, it's a puzzle thing. Uh, two, three, four, and five. Dang, that's not it. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that would be too easy. Um, okay, but does it not just go around? No. Let's see, what am I trying to do here? Am I trying to match this shape? Is that what I'm trying to do? That would be easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am. Uh, that looks like it's here. Okay, here's what I came for, I think. What do we have here? Priceless trinkets? Keep your hands off, Adam. 
pepper. That's not priceless. This is sand from Ir Fatim, one of the last sand elementals. Whoa. How do you know that? Is it labeled? I wouldn't know that. I would totally think it was pepper if I grabbed it. Saeed, for years of our friendship, please accept this gift, Whitman. Look at him pretending to be all nice. Oh, close up. Zoom, zoom. Dang. So many buttons. What is this? Something I need? I'm going to give it back to him. What do we have here? Ah, he's his eye. Jeez. There we go. Ooh. Okay, is there another section of them that we need to put this stuff on? No? I don't know. Let's just try that one. No? Okay, looks like this one turns blue, which is maybe helpful. Okay, Whitman's recording did not mention anything about this statue being all weird and stuff. So, no. Um... Is there an order? Like, it's hard to... Okay, uh, if if changing color makes them right... There we go. Okay, no. I have no idea what the order should be. Or if I'm supposed to be able to know. Maybe it's just trial and error. Okay, another order thing. One, two, three. Sure, why not? Assuming no. Oh, do we want them all blue? Do we want them all red like that thing? All purple. All red. No. Oh, it's the order that I did them in? Let's see, it was uh, green and then... Well, I guess technically the red was already there, so red and then green and then blue. Finally, a breakthrough. It won't be easy, but it's doable. The fire demon's weakness is sand. A sand elemental is able to counter the fire demon. Ah. Oh, I gotta click on it. In my work desk, I hid the crucial piece of information on how to find and tame a sand elemental. Uh, yeah, it was right there in the middle. It's impossible to open it without a two-part key. The first one is hidden in the council sigil, and the second one I will be taking to my grave. Alright, so we found the fire statue at his place, which <laughs> is where he got killed, so he did take it to his grave, kind of. Um, but... Anyway, I believe that's the one, the second part, the fire, so the sand one is hidden in the council sigil. Am I wrong? Oh, yeah, I am wrong. If I... Okay, I was thinking that we found it at Whitman's, but no. We found it at... Uh, we found it in that sigil. That's, that's where it was. It was behind the... Uh, My mortal remains will rest in a chapel at the San Francisco National Cemetery, lot 127. So, he already had a plan to not do it himself, because if he's hiding the, uh, the sand elemental with him, then he's, he clearly doesn't think that he's the one that's going to get this done. Hmm. Alright, so it's in this chair. I wish I could take some of my whiskey to the grave. It would make for a better afterlife. Can do, buddy. Whiskey it is. Okay, so let's grab this. Yeah, is grave. Oh. Wait, it's not midnight. The pact has been broken. All will burn. Saved me? Hmm. Imbecile! Give me one good reason why we shouldn't get rid of you right now. 
because I just figured out all your codes and shit. Can I tell her that? Oh, here you go. Oh, okay, it's the sand element. No, actually, they don't want. They they do not want that. No, so it's like because I got this cool watch. That's a good reason. All right. Well, I'm assuming this thing isn't on a timer, and I need to get going. So I'm gonna wrap this one up here, and uh, we'll try to give her a good reason not to kill us in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.